here Attica Razor from QAMC. In this video, we will discuss psychological factors on blood pressure. Here you can see the definition of BP. It is the force exerted by blood against any unit area of the vessel wall. Hypertension is a condition characterized by persistently elevated arterial blood pressure. Specifically, hypertension is generally defined as a systolic blood pressure SBP of 140 mmHg or higher and or or diastolic blood pressure DBP of 90 mmHg or higher. However, these thresholds may vary slightly. Stages of hypertension. Stage 1. Stage 2. Stage 3. Stage 4. Some of the psychological factors include stress, anxiety, depression, anger, hostility, social support, trauma, racism and discrimination, financial stress, cultural factors, work environment, family dynamics. All these factors led to hypertension, known as neurogenic hypertension. First, we will discuss how these factors cause hypertension. It occurs by increase in sympathetic activity, release of stress hormones cortisol. All psychological factors increase sympathetic activity and this increased activity affects mainly heart blood vessels and kidneys. Psychological factors increase sympathetic activity and in turn norepinephrine is released as shown in this flowchart. Norepinephrine ATSD on the B1 receptor of heart and causes chronotropic, dromotropic, bathmotropic, ionotropic actions and increases heart rate. We know that blood pressure is equal to the cardiac output and peripheral resistance and cardiac output in turn depend on heart rate and stroke volume. Thus by increasing heart rate blood pressure is elevated. Noradrenaline causes blood vessels to constrict by acting on alpha-1 receptors, leading to an increase in peripheral resistance. This makes it harder for blood to flow through the vessels, thus increasing blood pressure. Sympathetic activation can also stimulate beta-1 receptors of juxtaglomerular apparatus to release of renin from the kidneys. Renin initiates the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system cascade, leading to the production of angiotensin II, a potent vasoconstrictor, and aldosterone, which promotes sodium and water retention. These effects further increase blood pressure. Aldosterone, stimulated by sympathetic activity, causes the kidneys to retain sodium and water, leading to an expansion of blood volume and an increase in blood pressure. Sympathetic activity causes the adrenal gland to release of epinephrine and causes vasoconstriction, so increase peripheral resistance. This increases blood pressure. This shows overall activity of sympathetic nervous system activation on blood vessels causes vasoconstriction. On kidney, cause release of renin activates renin angiotensin system and thus activates the secretion of aldosterone along with peripheral vasoconstriction. The aldosterone causes sodium and water retention to increase blood volume and thus increases blood pressure. On heart, increases the contractility of a heart and increases heart rate. So blood pressure is increased. ND persistent increased blood pressure causes hypertension. Cortisol, often referred to as the stress hormone, can contribute to hypertension, high blood pressure through several mechanisms, increase heart rate, cause water retention. Let us discuss the psychological factors in detail. Stress, chronic stress, can lead to elevated blood pressure levels over time due to the constant activation of the body's stress response system, anxiety and depression, these mental health Conditions can lead to unhealthy lifestyle, habits such as overeating, lack of exercise and substance abuse, all of which can contribute to hypertension. 
Trauma and adverse. Childhood experiences. Traumatic experiences. In childhood or adulthood, such as abuse, neglect, or witnessing violence, can have long-term effects on mental and physical health, including hypertension. All of these psychological factors led to persistent sympathetic stimulation and persistent increased in blood pressure, thus led to hypertension, as this is caused by nerve discharge called neurogenic hypertension. How to prevent hypertension caused by psychological factors? Meditation can give you a sense of calm, peace and balance that can benefit your emotional well-being and your overall health. Calm Deep the breath. nervous system that controls the body's involuntary functions. Controlled breathing can cause physiological changes that include lowered blood pressure and heart rate, reduced levels of stress, hormones in the blood. Other stress management skills include reduction of noise, exercise, healthy diet, sleep habit, management of time. Thank you.